This Friday night, we got four games for you on tap. One of them is quite a show. My name is Andreas Sashenko, and you're watching Daily KHL Update. We travel to Chilavin's first word truck to take on Nefta Kimek. Andre Nazarov is back in his hometown. Let's see how it's gonna pan out. Nefta Kimek get off to a great start. Eight minutes into the game, Alexander Brinsov scores his first career regular season KHL goal off a one faceoff. Pavel Kolikov with the only assist. And just 13 seconds later, they double their lead as Chad Rouse scores his fourth of the season from the hash marks. Dan Saxon with a great assist from behind the net. They held on to the two-goal lead and had an empty net of late in regulation to secure the win. Bogdan Ikimov with the dagger. Ilya Zhov stops 29 shots for his second consecutive shutout and after Kimov take it 3-0 on the road. We travel to Yekaterinburg now where after on the list take on Sochi. This one isn't a high scoring affair either. Sochi get the first tally of the game late in the second period. Adol Padakin creates chaos in front of his kids from behind the net and Yuri Alexandrov capitalizes on it. He scores his first of the season and puts Sochi in the lead. Late in regulation they score an empty netter to put a lock on it. Ilya Koklov makes it 2-0 and that's the way it's gonna end. Konstantin Barolin stops 30 shots for his second shutout in three games. Sochi win their fourth consecutive game. And now to Taliyade, where a lot of welcome Akbars. Home team is missing Nikita Filanov due to injury, while Kazan had high hopes for Yuri Sekic, who scored four points in two consecutive games coming into this one. Pick it up from the second, Rob Glinkhammer wins the battle for the puck in the corner, centers it for Stanislav Galeev, and Galeev scores his first career KHL goal. He's a former Moral Cup champion with St. John Sea Dogs. Ten minutes later, Vladimir Kachov scores his second of the year on a broken play. Stepan Zaharchuk with the initial shot. 2 0 to Nagbars after 40. Either for the third period, Lada get a goal back as the score is shorted. 2011 World Junior Champion Stanislav Bacharov beats him on Garupa for his first of the season. But just two minutes later, Ogbar scored another one and put it in a bag. Justin Azevedo has his tenth of the year and Idris Sekic picks up another assist on the play. That's gonna do it. Ogbar's take it 3 1 on the road. Our final game is a big one. Metal and Magnitogorsk play host to Salavati Live. Lena Sumer goes head to head with Sergei Mazakin. This is huge. Salavat scored the first goal of the game. The Hearts of Mustard beats Vasily Kostikin on the glove side. That's his first goal this season. 1 0 Salavat. Midway through the period, they double their lead. Andrew Lisson throws the puck in the slot from the left wing, and Evgeny Bodrov tips it home. Salavat lead 2 0 now. Early in the second period, Salavat's going a power play. Philip Larson sizzles one past Kostkin from the point. That's his eighth goal this year. Magnitska swap Kostkin for Yuli Samsonov, and it works. Halfway through the second, Nikita Pivtsakin tips Evgeny Berikov's shot, and Magnitska on the board. They're still down by two, though. Just over a minute later, Sergei Tereshenko lets one rip from the point, and that goes past Ben Scrivens. What a cannon! Magnitka just one goal behind now. And they complete their comeback middle through the third. Evgeny Berkov blasts another one on net and Tomas Filip is scores on the rebound. Tie game. Oh, but not for long. Just 25 seconds later, Slava Saladukin finds himself all alone in the slot and scores the game-winning goal. Magnitka raises a three-goal deficit but still loses this one 4-3 on all eyes. And that's it for your Dell KHL update. Make sure to come back tomorrow as we're gonna have eight more games for you, including Avant Garde Locomotive and Boris vs. Dynamo Moscow. My name is Andreas Sachinka. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.